Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And it looks like a pretty nice week as we are going to see a pretty good cool down tomorrow. You can see quite a bit of high cloudiness over uh, much of the Oracle Tex right now. Here's the scene from downtown Marshall. Looks like they're ready to go for the Fire Ant Festival, which is going to be taking place this weekend. And uh, as far as the weekend weather, we are looking at some cooler air to our north, which is going to begin to filter into the Oracle Tex here during the next uh, 24 hours, as tomorrow likely will be be uh, the coolest day of the weekend as we'll see highs that will be some 5 to 10 degrees cooler than what uh, we are experiencing this afternoon. Uh, looking at Robin's story to Futurecast, you can see that we will continue to see the high clouds over the area as we progress our way through the evening hours. They may decrease a bit, but another surge of high cloudiness will stream across at least the northwest half of the area during the morning and try to spread a little bit more to the southeast during the afternoon. We'll see a clear to partly cloudy sky tomorrow night. And as we go through Sunday, once again, expect that mix of uh, sunshine and some high clouds across the area. But we will see nothing as far as rain across the region here during the weekend. When will we see our next chance of rain? Looking at the weather pattern, still looks like sometime in the middle of next week as we have this upper level trough, which is only going to reinforce uh, the cooler air by Monday, or drier air too. By Monday, we will see the pattern shift somewhat with troughiness developing here across the southwestern sections of the country. A southwesterly flow will set up. That's going to result in a little bit of a warm up and also going to allow some moisture to work its way back into the Oracle text. And you can see a disturbance which is going to be digging into the middle of the country. It looks like this impulse may dig far enough to the south to give us a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms here for Wednesday and Wednesday night. And then we should see any leftover rain late Wednesday night quickly end Thursday if it's still around. And then with this big trough over the northern sections of the country, the northwesterly flow sets back up and that'll dry us out for Friday and next weekend with cooler temperatures as well. We could very well see some of the coolest air of the season so far by next weekend. In the meantime, how much rain might we see? Well, you might recall yesterday the models backed off dramatically. Now some of them are showing a better chance of perhaps some heavier rain. Here's the very latest uh, data showing you that uh, it appears that perhaps the heaviest rains could fall over the southern half of the area. And we have seen a great deal of modeling consist consistency here, so there is some uncertainty yet. But uh, nonetheless, it looks like uh, we will see the chance of seeing a good half an inch to an inch of uh, rainfall with perhaps the heaviest totals over the southern sections of the area where that chance of getting an inch may be just a bit higher. Uh, so your forecast looks like this for tonight. We will see a partly cloudy sky across the Oracle text. Temperatures should be relatively close to normal. Normal being 59 will bottom out in the mid to upper 50s. 59 tonight in Shreveport, 56 in Texarkana, 52 degrees in Dequeen. Uh, tomorrow looking at a partly cloudy sky. Another nice day, not as warm as we've seen over over the last several days as we'll see highs in the upper 70s to low 80s, 85 in Akadish, 82 in Shreveport, 79 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana. And look at your 10 day forecast shows that we will see temperatures across the area that will gradually warm up after 54 Sunday morning. It's back to the upper 80s by Monday. We'll stay in the mid to upper 80s through Wednesday. Again, late Wednesday and Wednesday night, probably Wednesday evening, Wednesday night will be the most widespread rain across the region and a few thunderstorms will be possible at this point can't totally rule out a strong to severe thunderstorm or two across the region and behind that front you can see we cool down highs in the 70s and low 80s lows very well could be in the 40s for the first time this season in Shreveport Right now, it looks like low 50s, but nonetheless, we will see some of the coolest air of the season as we work our way towards next weekend. So all in all, it does appear as if we this weekend looking pretty nice with cooler temperatures and dry conditions. Pretty good chance for some rain by the middle part of next week. And then another nice weekend as we look ahead to next weekend.